Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again, and I actually want to do a follow-up on the Surface Laptop for Business. This is the 5G. This one actually is a little bit different than your standard laptop for business, and one of the things that makes this pretty unique is the styling. Obviously, the keyboard deck is a different color, and that's because it has different antennas rearranged here to give you maximum performance and reception when it comes to the 5G. And the 5G is the key here because I know a lot of businesses are gonna to wanna to use something like this. So I've been using this for the past month or so. I've taken it on about two business trips already. And I can tell you this has been excellent. Now, it has all the benefits for the most part of what we saw originally on that black one that I did uh, without the 5G. That was about six and a half, seven months ago. And it's one of my favorite laptops of the year. And in fact, I'll leave a link to the review in the description below. And the reason I want to point to that is because there are some differences between that and the 5G version. But I think the biggest difference is going to be the battery life. So I saw extremely great battery life, obviously with Lunar Lake in that one that I did, the black one. Uh, but this one is not going to be quite as good. And that's to be expected, right? Because you have an extra modem here the 5g modem and that's going to take up more power but of course you can always turn that off and you will get pretty much the same battery life as you would on the non 5g model but i actually keep the 5g on because for my workflow it just makes sense to always be connected and i didn't see a big difference in battery life. i mean you can notice the numbers obviously it's not going to be quite as good but in real world usage, using this for the type of things that I do, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, on the road, doing some light video editing and so forth, I thought it did great. I thought it really handled the job well and having the always on connection to me has been a game changer. Now, I've used this one, this is the 15 inch version of the Snapdragon X, X Elite, right? So we've seen this one before and this is the X, E100, uh, 8100, right? So this is one of the top of the line ones that you can get. And this one uh, did really well in its own right. So I would say for the most part, you're going to be fine on this as long as you stick to the basics, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, like I said, Windows on ARM still has a little bit of a ways to go. And of course, we're seeing the next generation, the XE2 coming out hopefully early next year. So we'll see where we can stand on that. But I've had nothing but great production out of this. Again, I've had not, not many issues, maybe a few printer drivers here and there might have been an issue. Uh, gaming is really not the forte of this. And again, the uh, the graphics are just not as good as something like the Intel Arc graphics on the business model, right? Now, it gets confusing with the naming. I know we call this one business, but there is the Snapdragon business version as well. So just be aware of that. And the Intel version is more expensive. And that's one of the things I'm not crazy about as far as the 5G or the non-5G Intel-based version, the Lunar Lake. So that is this one area where I think that Microsoft needs to reassess and maybe come in a little bit more competitive. It doesn't really make sense to go up that much higher over the ARM-based model here, the Snapdragon model. In my opinion, it's the same build quality, same displays, you're just going to get a different processor, right? So they're actually, I think, you know, ripping people off, let's be honest. I think that's the case with that. Now, having said that, I went out and I purchased this one with my own money, nearly $2,000 for this uh, 5G model. And I will say this, uh, that it has been very good. All right, now typing on the Surface Laptop 5G for business or the Surface Laptop in general has been nothing but a pleasure. The key travels good, tactility, the feedback, overall typing experience, very, very good in terms of Microsoft Office, email, all that stuff, typing has been great. It's got a nice backlight on it. And with this darker deck, I actually think it's even better because you can see the keys even better with the backlight on. So to me, this has been nothing but spectacular in terms of the keyboard. It's a really good keyboard. Now, the other thing I absolutely love, once again, is a haptic touchpad. And of course, they're probably using the Sensor drivers as they did 
on the other version. So haptic feedback, the engine is good, the tactility is good, the scrolling, all the gestures, everything works as you'd expect on this uh, in terms of the the touchpad. And as fa fact of the matter is one of the best ones out there. And again, I'm gonna give a compliment here. It's Apple-esque, right? So not only is the build Apple quality, which is first rate, but so is the keyboard and the touchpad. And in fact, this keyboard is actually a, a better keyboard in my opinion than on the MacBook Pro, the 14 and the 16 that I actually use. So uh, to me, the keyboard, the touchpad, first rate here for this Surface Laptop for Business. So this is the camera on the Surface Laptop 5G for Business, 1080p. It also has all the studio effects, obviously. It's an IR camera as well. Uh, what do you think about the video quality and what do you think about the audio? Let me know. And this is the FaceTime camera on the M4 MacBook Pro. What do you think about the video quality and what do you think about the audio quality? Audio has been excellent. It has omnisonic speakers, so there are no speaker grills or anything. It's got a clean aesthetic, and it's got spatial audio, Dolby Atmos, all that stuff, and the sound emanates from the keyboard. So uh, I thought the sound was very good. It's got good mids, good bass, good, good loud speakers here in terms of the volume. So I think they did a really good job in that regard. All right, now, performance-wise, I have no compatibility issues because this is running Lunar Lake, the Core Ultra 5, 226V, I think, or 236V, I can't remember on this one. Let me take a look, actually. Uh, it's not gonna be a huge difference than the Core Ultra 7. So this is the Core Ultra 5, 236V. If you want a little bit more performance, not a huge difference, though, you can go with the Core Ultra 7 256 or 266 V, I think, is one of the offer. That's with the V Pro. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for that. Uh, you can go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Again, that's a limit of Lunar Lake in terms of a much, as much RAM as you can get. This one has 16, but again, this one has been perfectly fine for what I need this to do. Yeah, this would have been better with 32, but again, these are so expensive that I had to actually make some choices here. And I actually went with a 16 because for my workflow, for this type of travel laptop, the more important thing for me is having the 5G and this will be perfectly fine for Microsoft Office, email, web browsing and stuff like that. So not an issue in that regard. Now, uh, as far as the thermals on this, it, I hardly hear the fans. They it, it barely comes on. I can barely hear them when it's even under load. So that's been amazing. Never gets overly hot, even under load. So you can use this on your lap, not a problem. And the thermals has been very good. So that has not been an issue. Now the Intel Arc graphics, the 130V, I think on this one, are really, really good. In fact, uh, one of the more th the things I'm most impressed about is you can actually play some AAA titles if you lower the settings on some of the games. Again, you'd have to put it on the low settings, but you can play some games, believe it or not because the graphics here are actually really good. Uh, we're talking about the uh, Intel Arc 130V, and if you go with the Core Ultra 7, 140V is what you're gonna get. So Lunar Lake with their Intel Arc graphics are really good, and I would love to see this with Panther Lake, right? Remember I just went to the Intel Tech Tour. In fact, I actually brought this as one of the ways to test this out. And if this can come with Panther Lake and some of the gains that they're claiming, Intel at least is claiming, uh, that we're going to see with Panther Lake as far as efficiency, improved graphics and the XE3 graphics, and as far as the uh, performance of the CPU, that'll be a game changer in something like this, thin and light. Put the 5G in there and we're in business. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. So what are my final thoughts on the Surface laptop 5G for business and in comparison to say something like the consumer version with Windows and ARM. And I would say I absolutely love this laptop. I love the fact that I'm getting the Lunar Lake. I'm getting the great battery life. Yes, I will take a little bit of a hit having that 5G in terms of the battery life, but it still lasts pretty much all day for me. Having the always on connection is definitely worth it. The build quality is Apple-esque and that is a, a compliment. It's a unibody metal design. They did have to give you a dark keyboard deck to cover the different antennas. And of course, they've been pretty uh, extensive in terms of the upgrade of antennas here to give you the maximum 5G reception. So I think on that front, they really accomplished it. I got really good reception pretty much everywhere I went using the T-Mobile SIM card that I have here. So that has actually worked out 
really well. So I think Microsoft onto something here, a business executives, uh, just any kind of small to medium businesses, they may want to buy some of these, uh, roll them out, and of course, have the 5G, have the great battery life, have the great display. Now, one thing I would like to say about the display is, yeah, while it's great, Pixel Sense display, all that stuff. I wish it was an OLED and specifically a tandem OLED. Now we saw the OLED version of the Surface Pro and Surface Pro for business. Why can't we get it for the laptop? I'm so I'm hoping next year we will see a tandem OLED version of the Surface laptop for business. Give me the 5G, give me the tandem OLED, and I think we're in business. But let me know what you think in the comment section below about that. And in closing here, I would like to say that, yes, uh, it is expensive. Yes, probably more than it should be, but it has pretty much lived up to the billing as far as being productive on the road, having the always-on connection, and I'm getting great battery life, and everything works with it. I don't have to worry about things that I have to worry about with Windows and ARM. So I think that's where the business laptop here, the 5G version, really shines. And I highly recommend it if you can get it on sale somehow. And if Microsoft, if you're watching, I'm hoping you will reassess how you're pricing these things because I think you have a real special laptop here. And I'd like to see this come to the masses as well, not just for business users, but for consumers as well. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. And if you are a casual viewer of my content, why not consider subscribing? It doesn't cost anything and it helps support the channel. Helps, uh, helps really grow the channel as we're making our big push for 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now, if you're gonna buy something like the Surface Laptop 5G for business or the Surface Laptop here for the consumer, why not check out the links in the description below? Yes, they are affiliate links. No, I do not get a huge commission, a small commission that helps keep the lights on here in my house and in my studio downstairs. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.